Individuals with abnormal levels of glucose in the blood, such as diabetic patients, are often subjected to the HbA1c blood test. The hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, test is considered to be the most appropriate test for determining how well the patient is controlling his or her blood glucose level or diabetes within a 3-4 to four month period. The test also serves as a diagnostic screening for diabetes and may be ordered by the physician if a person is showing signs and symptoms of diabetes mellitus so as to confirm if indeed the disease is present. If the result yields values within the HbA1c normal range, then the patient is safe from the complications of diabetes. HbA1c blood test is also called the glycosylated hemoglobin test, since it measures the glucose attachment to the hemoglobin, of the red blood cells. Hemoglobin is a component of the red blood cells, which is responsible for transporting oxygen to the different parts of the body, and carries back carbon dioxide from the cells. If the results are higher than the HbA1c normal range, hyperglycemia or high glucose levels in the blood is confirmed, and so the glucose will accumulate in the blood, resulting in attachment with the hemoglobin. The red blood cells die after about 90 to 120 days, 3 to 4 months, so the measurement for how much glucose is present in the blood, should be done within 3 to 4 months before the old RBCs are replaced by another set of new RBCs. The HbA1c test makes use of a blood specimen extracted from the patient's veins. The blood sample will be brought to the laboratory for determination whether the HbA1c normal range is achieved or not. For a person with no diabetes, the HbA1c normal range is from 4% to 6%, while for a diabetic patient, the HbA1c level should not be more than 7%. For an individual who has not yet been established to have diabetes but has registered an HbA1c level higher than 6%, he or she may be diagnosed with the disease and the proper medical attention should be accorded. On the other hand, diabetic patients with tests showing values higher than the HbA1c normal range should know that they are not successfully and properly controlling the disease. Higher than normal HbA1c values means that the blood sugar levels have been high for the past few months. The suitable maintenance and control of the HbA1c level should be done in order for non-diabetics to prevent the onset of the disease, and for the diabetics to avoid further complications. It is known that as the value of the HbA1c gets higher, the greater the probability for complications to occur. If the diabetic patient is able to maintain the HbA1c within the normal range, he or she should only have to undergo HbA1c test at least twice a year. Being knowledgeable of the HbA1c normal range, helps us to be aware of the things that need to be done, in order to prevent diabetes as well as its complications. A diabetic person, who is well equipped with knowledge about his or her disease, must be good in controlling his or her HbA1c level in the blood so as to stop diabetes, from causing graver conditions. Since diabetes is a lifetime condition, the HbA1c test helps the diabetic patient, monitor and manage the disease, thereby making life with diabetes more bearable and enjoyable. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.